G'day and welcome to Outback Gold Fever. Yeah, so in today's video we do actually manage to find a couple of nice pieces that we can't wait to share with you, so uh, stay tuned for that. And for those people that are interested in all the, all the equipment that we use and recommend, you can check out the links below in the description. You guys stay safe out there and uh, happy hunting. Yeah, we're just out detecting this morning and it's been a pretty quiet morning but uh, yeah, luckily it's uh, nice and cool today. I've actually got the long trousers on today, uh, which I haven't had on for a long time. So uh, yeah, nice cool day but yeah, pretty quiet on the gold front and just targets in general. I've got a target here and it sounds like rubbish, but I'll give you a listen. Okay, so there it is. It's a, just a lead bullet, but uh, yeah, she's all bent out of shape, and that's why it gave that sound. But uh, yeah, could have quite easily been a bit of shallow gold, but unfortunately, just more rubbish. So we'll keep swinging around this area and see what else we can find. I've got my first signal of the day. Uh, I'm in an area that has been detected before, and this one's quite loud, so it could easily be rubbish or a nugget that has been missed because it's in a spot where not everybody would swing a detector. It's a definite signal since it's quite loud. Uh, I'm a bit doubtful, but yeah, I'll stop talking now and dig it out. Yeah, it's just a lead bullet. I'll fill in this hole and then I'll keep going. Okay, I've just got a target here. It, um, I'm still a bit iffy on it. it. It does sound a bit like the saturated ground targets that we've been getting lately. It, uh, we've had a little bit of rain uh, lately and you get the areas where the ground's really saturated and that uh, does set the detector off but I'll give you a listen to this one see what you think. We'll give that a bit of a scrape and uh, we'll see if that signal improves at all. Yes yeah, so as you can see it's um, quite wet there it's a really, really sticky clay there and uh, what we've been getting lately is those spots are being giving us a bit of a signal. So it's just probably a clay spot where they, uh, it's holding the moisture there, but um, we'll swing the detector back over it and uh, see what it says now. Yeah, just noisy ground there, so uh, we'll move on and um, we'll keep swinging. I just spotted something on the ground. That's an empty chewing gum bottle. It's a uh, plastic with a nice clip top and actually I used to use one of those uh, as my nugget container. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, is there a nugget inside? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, there's even a string attached to it. Look at that. A chewing gum bottle with a string on it. They probably put the string on there so they could hang it around their neck. Yeah, I find anything dangling very, very annoying and uh, they get hooked up in trees and obviously uh, he lost it. It's empty. I'll put this in my backpack and uh, yeah, I'll put it in the bin at our camp. I don't want a cow to eat it. a signal here. It sounds pretty good because it's not a surface target. Yeah, that's something that I'm definitely gonna dig out. It's a shotgun pellet. Yeah, I'm still getting targets in an area which has been heavily detected before. Um, plus there is gold in the area and I'm picking up lead so it's not a bad sign. I'm hoping for the next one to be gold. I'm hoping for the next one to be gold. Yeah, I'm just detecting my way along um, these detector holes here and uh, there are actually quite a few around and there's uh, quite a big area that has been raked here so they put a lot of effort into it and they would have picked up a lot of gold before us. But uh, yeah, nobody gets it all. We are running the MindLab GPZ 7000s. They are worth their money we are able to pick up gold, which others have missed. Yeah, 
yeah there's not much uh, of a signal there at the moment but once I cleared around those uh, stems around the bushes here and picked up the piece of plastic there's a bit of rubbish in the bush I'll swing the detector again and hopefully the signal improved by then I just got rid of the leaves and um, the dead branches there and I think there's actually a signal there these are all the other detector holes there and I'm pretty sure this one here is a good sounding signal just in there I'm running the MineLab GPZ 7000 on high yield and difficult in the ground type I'm gonna switch from high yield to general and uh, see if the signal improves I can definitely hear a low high signal so I'm gonna put the camera out of the road and uh, I'll probably dig a deeper hole because it sounds like there might be a target down deep which makes me very optimistic oh that's nice oh how good gonna be gold it's gonna be a good one okay I'm going back to high yield I might be able to pinpoint it a bit better once I'm closer I still got a long way to go here it's gonna be gold okay I'm a little bit out of breath because uh, this dirt is like concrete Let's see what it sounds like. I should be closer now. That sounds so good. Can't believe it. I'm closer, but uh, I'm still a long way away from it, I think. We're coming into a layer of quartz rocks here. So that could mean that the signal in here is not actually a nugget. It could be a specimen. Because, yeah, we have picked up a few species in this area but also nuggets I don't care what it is as long as it's got some gold on it oh keep on digging more quartz coming up It's gotta be gold. I'll see if Mark is nearby. I'll give him a call on the two-way. How are you going? Have you found anything? Nothing. How are you going? Nothing so far, but this will be one. And I've been digging it for a few minutes and it's still in there. Yeah, how far are you from the car? Which direction? I'm south of the car, in your opposite direction. Okay, you're in the opposite direction, okay. Good luck. How about that massive one? <sighs> I'm so warm. Oh, it's playing up. Yeah, in these situations, uh, there's one big danger, and that's impatience. So I'll be super careful with this one. I really don't want to damage it. I'm not in a rush. I can take my time getting this one out. I can't see any gold yet, and this one here seems to be a big quartz rock here. So it could be a big speci. Oh. I hear it screaming. That's crazy. It's right over this rock here. It's gonna be a big one. Okay, this here is actually dirt, hard cemented dirt. I might just have to be a bit, a little bit rougher and uh, yeah, get the pick around this area here and try to get it out. It's Mark pinging me so I can see his position on my GPS now. 
southwest of where you are. I might uh, need your pinpointer. Okay, I'm on my way. Got one. See you soon. Happy country. Yeah, look at all those craters. Almost there. I reckon it's there somewhere. So I think yeah, it should be there. Somewhere. Yes. Right there. Right there. It's really cemented and hot here. I'm digging in the right spot. some water worn. Okay. But how big is it? Oh. Does it go this way as well or does it go that way as well or is it just there? Just keep digging around it and yeah, stay away from it and then uh, if it takes us 20 minutes to get it out then it takes us 20 minutes. So. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes yeah. already. Yeah. <laughs> Easily. <Yeah. laughs> okay, keep on digging. Oh, it's coming! It's coming! Oh, oh good one! Oh, nice piece! That is a chunk! Oh, yeah, that is a oh, nice piece! Good one! Good job! Oh, it's been a while! Yeah, it's been a while to get a nice piece like that, but yeah! How oh, good! Well, that's, I don't know, eight? Eight or nine grams? Good one. Nice piece. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm going to say easy eight. Be a bit closer to ten, I reckon. Cool. <laughs> it's a nice chunk. I've got plenty of water left. It's not a hot day. I'll make an exemption with my <laughs> drinking water today. Do you want to use my container so you can give it a bit of a, oh, yeah, that would a be shake? Good. My container's empty. Oh, solid. No quartz on it. It's solid gold. That is a nice piece. Nice and water worn right amongst these detector holes here. Good job. That was it. Okay, we just got this uh, little bit of a signal here, uh, not far from where Chrissy just found that, oh, I'm going to say Tangrama. And uh, yeah, not much of a signal, but I'll give you a listen. Pretty good. Yeah, so not too much of a signal there, but uh, what I do is I'm on difficult at the moment. I'm just going to go back to normal. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so it sounds pretty good in normal there, so we'll give that a dig and hopefully that's a piece of gold. I'm in high yield and I've just gone back to difficult. Yeah, <laughs> so that sounds pretty good. Oh nice. Yeah, it's sounding very promising now. Heavily worked area. Um, 
just to go to show there's still gold to be had here. You beauty. Good job. Okay, we'll give that one a bit of a clean. Really good area. They've raked it all around those bushes there, their detector holes, and we're still picking up gold. Oh. Rattle in the tin. The rattle, it's not quite a clunker like Chrissy's, but it's a good rattle. That's a good rattle. Yes, that is a nice piece. Look at that. That is a nice piece of gold. Beautiful. Gotta be happy with that. Very nice. We'll keep swinging here because I'm sure there's going to be more like this. You beauty. I think it's almost lunchtime, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, lunchtime now. And I'm sure we're going to have a little bit of a swing in this area here afterwards. Look at that. Huh? No noodles for us today. Look at that. <laughs> we're that's, celebrating. That's what happens when you find that. Straight to the smoked rainbow trout. Okay, that was a pretty good day out there today. We actually only managed one piece each, but uh, yeah, they were quite nice nuggets. So yeah, pretty good day overall. My piece, it, uh, yeah, it wasn't overly uh, big or uh, as big as Chrissy's piece, but yeah, it's still a very nice piece. I'm very happy with that one. Found in amongst those holes there as well. So yeah, very nice piece. Weight wise, I'll give Chrissy the first guess. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna go 3.6. 3.6, yeah, right. Eh? Yeah, I was thinking four to five grams when I first seen it, but now I've cleaned it, yeah, I think it's, it'll be lucky to go four grams, so I'm gonna go 4.1 on that one. Tear it off. Stop. It's a bit windy out yeah. here, so we're struggling a bit. Oh, 3.2, okay, 3 .2. yeah. Not as big as I thought, but uh, yeah, still a very nice piece, just the same, yeah, I'm very happy with that one. Uh, we don't find too many in that three gram range uh, mm. yeah lots of sub grammars but uh, yeah not too many in that size so yeah i'm very happy with that piece and once you clean that up you could even make a pendant piece out of it yeah beautiful yeah, could be, yeah. perfect size too for that yeah nice yeah it's a good piece that one yeah i'm very happy with that piece today it's a little bit smaller compared to chrissy's piece so we'll, we'll let chrissy show you that one yeah i got this beauty here that is a nice slug that one yeah very nice isn't it yeah it's been several months since i picked up um yeah a chunk like this so i'm very very happy with this I'm, I'm stoked absolutely stoked and to find that in an area where we weren't the first ones there and we were just cleaning up after others have been there that's just amazing mm, it was a great job yeah to be able to hear that one and uh, yeah it was quite deep so yeah good job on hearing that one and uh, yeah like i said in amongst all those holes and yet they missed it I'll yeah, give I'll, you a yeah, first oh, guess. Oh yeah, that, actually, that has some weight to it. So yeah, I'm going to say bang on 10 grams for that one. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a nice piece and I reckon it's going to go bang on. Okay, I'm always afraid to guess too much and then I end up with, with less. So <laughs> I'd rather go a little bit under and then I'm happy it's over if that makes sense. So I'm just going to say 8 grams. <laughs> so chuck it on here, see what it weighs. Tear it off again. Still windy out here. Oh, 9.2. <laughs> well, it's just over 9 grams. Yeah, 9.2, <laughs> we'll call that one. Yeah, that is a nice piece. Yeah, very nice looking mm. piece as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm absolutely stoked. That's an awesome chunk. And uh, I wish they'd come around a little bit more often, but uh, yeah, it's still good to see them occasionally. Usually we are happy if we find a gram a day, but yeah, to pick up a nine grammer, that's just absolutely amazing. We don't find them that often. Uh, it's been a while for me since I've picked up a big chunk, but uh, yeah, I'm usually the one picking them up. I need mm. to, to catch up to Chrissy. Uh, but uh, yeah, very nice to see her pick up that one today. Yeah, very welcome piece. Yeah, very <laughs> nice find. Yeah, we'll head back out there tomorrow and hopefully <laughs> yeah, find some more of these nicer chunks. But yeah, we're always happy about any type of gold anyway. And uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like and then we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you then.